So we've made it to hole number seven. There is a tee a little further back, but we're off this one today. It's definitely you can get up in two, downwind, but where we're playing into is the, probably the narrowest point of the world. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm worried about driving the buggy through that gap. <laughs> and th again, this front tee helps if you hit a good one because you'll have a clear shot. I think with this wind you could have 9-9. Nine -nine. Yeah. I think the play is the bush just right of where he's standing. Yeah. Or even there's maybe the stone up past that. So the stone that James is talking about is this one here. So that's the, for the next hole I believe. So James, shoot a go, one up. It is, one up. Snuck the victory there, I pushed you hard. Bounce. Didn't see it. Over the wall? <sighs> Don't know. Hard to say. This isn't driving now, is it? I ain't walking back. Not what I'm about. I'm about making birdie. It's like an unwritten rule we have. There's a massive scuff in my ball. Yeah. And the Chrome Soft is a very durable ball, but it can't handle me pounding it into walls. Or bridges in that case. Put the scuff that side just to try and... Yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> Get someone complain now, you're not allowed to do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, great drive. Mm, my king's broke, but I don't mind. Yeah, that's a good ball, that. Back to all square. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should be on. I should be on Broadway. You're on something. <laughs> James has found it. The rust's not quite as long here, but the ball is so far above his feet. It's almost a risk taking on this hedge in front. Pitching down again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Bear with. I'll have another go. <laughs> Sit. Don't go in the rough in this place. <laughs> no. Just hit big bombs like I did. Ah. <laughs> I've completely changed my attitude. Ten minutes ago I was sitting in the buggy. <laughs> Lost me ball. Just can't afford to hit it offline. But it's... You, I've, I've played events where I've hit iron everywhere and you're so far back, you eventually find the trouble. Yeah. You've got to really just pick your targets. Got to be a brave man. Get you a yard, Arj. Thank you. Okay, on to Steve. 165. 165 back. I've got nine. Quite a tailwind. I'm not going, it's not a big one either. I'm obviously going for the eagle. I feel like this holds one. Yeah, I think you're probably right, Steve. Yeah. Go on, now there's presents. How to put pressure on yourself. <laughs> the world's watching, Steve. Come on. A bit safe. Left of the pin. Go as well, I think. Oh! Safely on the green. This is a roller coaster. Yeah, right? this, this is where if I can get up and down. That's true. So, James, a few yards further up than me. Need to get up and down, don't I? Yeah, the, being in the rough's not ideal, but the pin being so far back, you can almost plant it in the middle and yeah. try and chase it. I've got like 160, I'm going 9. Yeah. Try and get it up there somewhere. But from the fairway, you're not going to chase it up that bank, but I think you can from the rough. Keep turning. If that keeps turning... Oh. 
Where'd that kick? It's your hole. It's a bunker, is it? No, it's cleared the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a flyer there. Oh. <laughs> it's a friendly game. I swear. <laughs> the first time I played this course, the pin was here. I hit it into the back left corner. This was a practice round. And I turned to my mate Max. So Max has been on a few videos, if you can remember Max. And I, I was walking up, I said, well, least I can say I've made a birdie around here. I didn't give it enough break. It cut this slope and went down to the front of the green and I three putted from there. What well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just, I'd made the comment about, oh, birdie. That's all I wanted. Hard to come by around here, Stephen. They are. There's loads. It, the green doesn't. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? For a par five as well. I think it's par five greens. I think you've got scope to do a little bit more. Are you reading this one? It's like... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Well, this is nasty. I'd like to give you that, Steve. Well, you gave me the hole. Yeah, you've had, you got the hole already. You I gave just me like, the hole on the fairway, mate. I, I like, hate to be the one to break it. I like, I like to see a genuine birdie, though. <laughs> oh. Firm and straight. Firm and straight. Then you'll go, actually, I'll carry on playing. I'll go back. <laughs> Yes, very good, very good. But you can see, you know, like when you watch, like, like the U.S. Open was on a couple of weeks ago, and you see the players looking at like a little slope like that, quick greens. If, if you miss it, or like if you actually genuinely try and go in hard and straight and miss it, you can like, knock yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I didn't have my birdie. All square. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hole eight. So we're saying it's 120. 124 to the pin. 124 to the. It's a great little hole because it's downhill quite severely, but then it's into the wind. And with with this amount of club, if you go well, the two cancel each other out. If you hit a wedge into this, it's going to go. I'm going to hit wedge. <laughs> no, I meant my. I'm right on the number for my fifty. Yeah. And I feel like um, like if it was still, or like flattish, or. I'm more like if, if this scenario was like with a six or a five iron, I think you could just cut the two cancel each other out. But if you hit fifth, full 50, it would you'd probably better catch it. There's more chance of catching it than hitting the green. So I've got wedge. It's going to nice smooth swing. I feel a bit strange it's not a buzzword. I want to name a shot. <laughs> name one anyway. Name one anyway. Finn. Yeah. A low screwball that bounces and then goes in second bounce or a high left pull oh nuts down nuts down nuts down oh for <laughs> the love of god i didn't think it was that far left but it obviously was uh, shot steve <laughs> yeah. the the low screwball is off the tree did you not know that <laughs> the sad thing is I'll box that now. That make you even angrier. Back to back birdies. Birdie train. What have you got? Wedge. Yeah. Same shot? Same kind of shot, yeah. You gonna try and take yours in past the tree or into the tree? Oh uh, I might use the tree, it looks like a favourable favourable. <laughs> Does it's a good way to get it to drop. It. It's very hard to get that left to right spin I find off the tree is an easier option. Keep turning. Good shot. So it's going to just come round a little bit yeah, more. That's, than that. that's, it's the safe shot. Most the, the talented man tries to whiz it into the tree, but <laughs> safety sometimes does work as well. well done. Safety first, Stephen. Safety first. Top tip from the pick. So after a stunning bit of uh, spin control, I am just on the fringe, but very makeable. James played a very basic shot into the middle of the green. He, didn't really fancy 
didn't take, see the tree. You didn't, yeah, something. Took a little less club, didn't want to take the pin on, but really did ensure hitting the green. And you can learn something off that. It's a very good percentage play. But uphill. I talked a lot of BS coming down to him in the buggy, so I may have lit a fire. It's uphill, not much break. If there was a man who was up to the challenge of boxing one just to shut me up, we're looking at him. James Picard, Jimbo Jet Golf. He zoned in. I know, you know you've wound him up when he zones in, but he tends to play better. Oh, it's lying. It's it, it's it. I knew he'd do that. <laughs> God, tell me to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, good birdie, then. Thanks, mate. Sorry, I'll get oh, the... look at that. He's even... Oh, it's in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so, easy to putt for Steve, a lot closer. Yeah, not a huge amount in this. Across the fringe, which isn't ideal. I feel a bit oh, you're lucky to be there, pal. Yeah, I feel a bit unlucky about that. <laughs> I don't even get lucky properly. Unlucky. Oh. That is a good effort. Good ride. I feel a bit hard done by there, but... <laughs> oh. A good birdie there. It's, Thank a, you. it's a tough little. Again, it's not an easy green, like. Kind of. I've played this before with a pin back right, and there's just no shot at all to go into it. Yeah, well, you you just have to get the yardage bang on, and it's very hard. Like if you look back, it's a bit higher up. It's up there, people. It yeah. Always swells, but to get a two there, you have to be what a man. Oh, what a man! Back to back to one. Back to one up. Hopefully, my luck will turn round. Hopefully not. It's a hole number nine. There you go, have your ball back. Back to back birdies in this group. Back to one up, James Picard. This hole, I can remember playing it like when we were amateurs, they didn't they didn't used to have the out of bounds. No, and they didn't have as much rough on the left. You could almost pinball drive yeah. up there. Especially down the right. I see why they've the other course is to the right of this hole. Yeah, and you could almost just smash it. Yeah. I can remember being up by the green. Yeah, you, you can do, like... You can still get close to it, but you are then, because the outbounds is yeah. there, you're kind of a bit of a chance. Yeah, so we've both there. got three wood. I'm going to use James as a bit of a guinea pig. I'm not 100% of the line, because there is a bunker up there on the right. Right of that. Right of that? Yeah. Okay. He sent it on the line, he said. We good? Yeah, I think that's a good line there. Okay. That was proper low spinny as well. That was a low spinner. Downwind though. Yeah, I, I, you can go left of that though, surely. Yeah, you can do. And still find the fairway? Yeah, I'd say you want to be over the hump right of the bunker. Would be kind of the furthest left you'd want to go with that. Okay, that's the line I'm going to use. Obviously without a bounds they just don't push it. Okay. Just pass. Oh, yeah. I pushed it. Of course I haven't. It's a good ball, straight over the middle of the bunker. Yep, seen him bounce. Nice tee ball, Miguel. Oosh. <laughs> So, Picard has hit it a hundred yards past me. That's what he thought. <laughs> but he's here. How do you feel? Still good. One up, aren't I? You're one up, about to go level, so you'll finish the front nine level, and against me, that's pretty good going. <laughs> How far? 106. 106. I'm right on a yardage. I'm in the fairway. Got a bit of a cuppy one there. I'll go, I'll go first. You go first. Okay. 
nice to be on the fairway really going into this. It would be. That would be that's the dream. People dream a lot. That is the dream. Downwind, I've got to go quite high with this one. Yeah, it's a one oh I I think it needs to land on the fringe. Stay straight. <laughs> I'm so unlucky. <laughs> that one, that was a no spinner, wasn't it? This rough's quite, quite juicy. Yeah, that it is. So 106. What would you like? I think yeah, I have 106. Let's get me yardage book out. Let's do it with the people at home. Well, I've got your club. Let's do it with the people at home. So, 106 is a smooth 54. Yeah, I'm going to go smooth 54. But it's now, down. Look at the groove, Stephen. It's downwind. It's disgraceful. That's just a <laughs> more knuckleball. <laughs> I was moaning about it. Don't get me. My pitches don't spin. You've got a layer of. Uh, layer of crust. I noticed that you've got a groove thing that you could have passed me. Yeah, it's match play, pal. It's in my bag. Bye. If you want it, it's back there. No, it's in his pocket, people. <laughs> Just like I'm in his pocket. Go on, Steve. Your wedge plays good. Smooth one. Same yardage. Got to take a little off the smooth one. It needs to be ultra smooth. It needs to be Barry White smooth. Oh, that's a good shot, Steve. That is a good shot. Very right, smooth. It's a shot, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I pitched by the hole. I'm just past. Definite birdie chance. Pick out a fraction short. But he has just rolled one in on the last. And he doesn't do it by luck. He's actually got a bit of swing off the right, but for the right-hander, stereotypical, they like this one. Uphill. Certainly give it a chance. Mine's a bit more slippery left to right. But I'm closer. But this is a match play moment. It wouldn't surprise me one bit. I'd expect him to give it a good chance. Just to ensure he finishes the front nine with a lead. Starts on a good line. Keep turning. Oh, that's a good roll, James. I thought that would turn back in just a little bit. That's fine. Very good part. Very good. Thank you. Not as good as your birdie's about to be there, eh, Steve? No. Nope. Got to judge yourself. Can't judge yourself on me, though. How arrogant do you need to be when you're one down and you <laughs> spend too much time with a, another fellow that I uh, that I know? Got a feeling he's gonna probably pop this in back to level. He's pulled it. Or did you read it there? I don't know. I don't know! I think I pulled that in there. That's a shame. That is a shame. Because that means you're still one down. Yeah, I misread that. Yeah. I went in with the eyes. I was sure it was coming off that side. I think it's straight. Pretty straight. I think I did pull it a little bit though. Like down, I just decelerate it downhill. But so I... you got slightly thicker socks on the normal today. Maybe. Could be that. Maybe. But we finished the front nine. 